just dropped off the knives at the butcher shop. Picked up some knives from a lady. And now I'm headed uh, sort of home, but I gotta pick up some more knives. Don't sound like very many, two or three. I got a, I don't know what's in that bag right now. I, that's what I picked up. Then I'm gonna meet Thomas at uh, East Beach. We're going for a spin at East Beach. Thomas is working on a, quote, a job over there. I haven't been there in a while, so we're going to hunt the east end of East Beach. I haven't been there this year at all. You've seen me at East Beach a couple times, but we've never been to the east end by the jetty at Little Creek. That's where we're bound for. I'll uh, get back to you. It's a uh, uh, low tides at noon, I think, or 12:30, and it's 11:11 uh, 11, 11 right now. You can see it's kind of rough. It's not rough as bricks by no means, but it's blowing. We won't be able to get in the water, I don't think. We'll have to work along the edge of the shore. That's a great matter city right there. Not very pretty, but the tide's getting off good. I like that. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'll be home in a minute. Get my gear in the truck. Well, here's the last knife I picked up. Lady's got a Santuco, Berkshire. Not too bad a shape. And she's got a nice Victor Knox butcher knife, but the tips broke off of it. We'll fix that, baby. And then, unfortunately, she has a Wilkerson sword. <laughs> what a waste of money. But it gets sharp. It just gets dull fast, too. Let's see what we got in here. Stand by, man. We got a gathering in here, it looks like. Well, she's got a Cook's Club small cleaver, uh, International Henkel Air, Air Edge, you know, like a little saw blade, a nice Dexter Filet knife, a nice Cutco Chef, a nice Cutco Para, two pair of pruners, and one pair of scissors. Okay. I got to go load my truck up and meet Thomas now. I'll see you this afternoon. Maybe with some taquitos, I hope. Well, we're bound for East Beach. We got about 12 minutes to go. Thomas, Thomas just texted me. He just got there. So maybe he'll have a short report for us when we get there. Stand by. Now I got to find a parking space. There's all these right here, parking spaces. So there's no problem finding one up this way. I'm just trying to get a little further to the east. And I'm looking for Thomas's truck. I'm not sure if he's driving his Lincoln Navigator or his uh, personal, you know, work truck. He drives a big white Ford like that one right there. But he was just here on an estimate, so I got a feeling he's probably driving his uh, Navigator. This is as far east as you can go right here. This is where I was going to park, but I don't see Thomas's truck. But that's okay. If there's a spot here, I'm going to take it. And there's one right there with my name on it. Look at that. Max the knife right there. At the beach entrance right here. Nice, ain't it? I like it. Public beach. Access through private property. Please stay on path. Okay. Oh, look at here. Some depositors in that picture. Dunezilla. You see it's rough. I told you it's rough as bricks. Not quite as bricky, but rough. I'm going to have to log, hunt along the damp sand, I guess. Much as I hate it. Not many ski babies out. That's a jetty.
I was mistaken. I ain't crazy about it, but it's the first target. We gotta start someplace, right? Took a while. Looks like a blasting cap to me. And what do I know? You can see on the back side of the jetty here is not too bad. Not too many targets either. They got some little low spots right here, you see them? We'll check them out. Something there, 14. A little piece of copper. Well, it sounds like there's another sound in the hole. Another nine. Another piece of that other piece, another small piece of copper. Well, we come up on some rocks. 
I like rocks. I don't know if we'll find anything yet, but it looks looks like the horses are striking good. They'd be big enough to eat next year. If something don't kill them. I got them. A lot of little shorebirds here too. Big flocks of little teeny ones. So far, nothing else since that temperature gauge or whatever that thing is I found. I had two iron hits, but I didn't dig them. A solid one. Right in this little cut between these rocks and this bar right here. I don't think I ever had a solid one before. That was sounded this good. I don't even hear it now. That's really strange. Nothing in my scoop. Unless it was so light it floated out. I don't hear it anymore. On we go. Way off in the distance there, the next cut. This is jumpy right here some kind of iron thing but I want to dig it up just because I ain't digging anything oh a battery ever ready energizer 13 uh oh I see ringing the scoop it's gold ticket too I think Good gracious me. Good Googa Booga. Good Googa Mooga Mooga Googa. Stand by. I can't tell if it's 10K or 14K, but it's some kind of K. Okay, baby. That's, that's the kind of ring that ought to have another ring with it. I've been, I've been hunting in this spot now for about 10 minutes where I found it. Looks like it ought to be set to a something else, you know. But I have found it, I ain't heard another peep. And that's where I found it right there. Right in that hole right there. I've been in and out everywhere. Nothing. God! I know it's here though. It's gotta be. You see I'm going down the edge of these rocks. I'm on, when I come back I'm going to stay inside that little slough over there. It's too wide to hunt. Unless I was going in and out. I did find another battery. I got two batteries now. A four. I don't know what a four is. I see it's something green there. Piece of copper, I guess. I 
I got the sensitivity down to 13. So I wouldn't find a whole bunch of that little crap. But I already found too much little crap. A nice 17. Now it jumped to 16 out. Not much water here. Oh, oh, Corona. Corona, baby. First Corona today. <laughs> ah, Corona. I like it. That's Thomas. At least I'm pretty sure it's Thomas. There's a ski baby right there doing jump calisthenics and stuff. Thank gracious me, my heart, I gotta take a nitroglycerin. Maybe two. Yeah. Out here? Yeah, about 15 minutes ago. Oh, I'm just keeping it. I don't want to drop it. Was it in the water? Yeah, right on this edge right here. Yeah. Oh. 13, came in at 13. What's the radio, what's the radio machine? Got it on? No, I turned it off. Oh. Down there, I'll find it. Huh? Go down there, I'll find it. It ain't going nowhere. We'll find it. I see it right there. See it? Water care. Six. Six, huh? Oh. Well, that's a nice ticket. It looks like it ought to have a mate, you know? It looks good. I mean, it looks like it ought to have another one to go with. I hunted, I hunted, I hunted at the spot for about 10 minutes in and out in a square, there, but I didn't find He's anything else. To start up here and get it looks good through here. Got lots more rocks, they're wide. He said he's hunted this, this little slew good. We got a week 16. But with sensitivity 13, it could, it could be that. Got it. I see nothing. Nothing that could be 13, 16. Not in Nepal. That's the hole. Let's try the hole one more time. There it is. Must be little. Oh, 
yeah, it's, it's not too little, it just fell through. It's a screw. Solid nine. Now they good? Yeah, I've been okay. Looks like a piece of that stuff we find from time to time. A ring on every finger. Well, uh, yeah, that's where I found them. I found, well, I found this one. I got a lot of them from my parents, but I found that one. With, I have a metal detector. I do it too. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, there's a, I don't know, because they, there's a lot of erosion. You never know what. Yeah, I know it. You might be able to find a ruby. You ain't kidding. You never know. <laughs> I got a couple of rocks I found. I don't, I don't know if they got enough metal in there to pick it up, though. I've been putting in that, but, well, that's, I found quartz. Yeah, that's your watch I just picked up. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't do it, but I've been just throwing. I've been throwing up, just throwing a lot. I found a couple when I was digging right here. Yeah. Because there's an ore or something to it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that's the kind of guy I like. Good customer. A ring on every finger. Well, we're coming up on a jetty now, a little creek. A little creek jetty. I think we hunt down the edge of this little slough right here. You see it tapers down, down into there. We'll just go straight ahead into it. Somebody's fishing pole gave way. That's one, two, three, four, five eyes. We got the whole tip of the fishing rod. <laughs> what have we here? A Ziploc bag. Reads two. Now it doesn't read anything. So much for that. Come back here, baby. We'll take a we'll take a walk right up on this jetty here. You see all the white things in prayer pots. Little Creek Jetty. Okay. We'll go back and see how Mr. Thomas is making out. I got a 12 right here. There's 
13 now, a little shaky sound. Now, that sounds a hundred percent iron. Iron it is. Oh, a bottle cap. A bad one too. That's the worst corona I ever found. Look at it. God. coming in now. I've been coming in about 45 minutes. Great balls on fire. The Ketos. I don't know where Thomas is. Oh, another bottle cap. Ah. Ultra this time. I caught up with him again. A little munchkin swimming. The water's really warm. It's warmed up a lot from the other day. I imagine. Any more tickets? 18. Nice jump down to 17. Might be iron. Stand by until I get it. I got five scoops off of it. I got up. I told Thomas to come over and check it. He says it reads good to him. It read good to me too, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Still there. I think it's a big piece of iron. Ah. I can feel it right there now. It's, oh, really? it's a big piece of iron. It's whatever it is, it's out now. in the hole somewhere.
Nice ticket. 16, 16 solid. Corona, Corona. Another Corona. Well, I'm heading back now. Got too rough on the edge there. Dropped right off waist, I mean about thigh high, and the waves are crashing bad. So I moved up a little teeny bit, headed back. I gotta go past that trash can right there, so it's just way it is. I see it. A red full tail. What? A red full tail. Is it? Yeah. See it right there. Yeah. <laughs> I got one too. Not red though. You get better than me, you got a red one. I'm I put in right over there. I'm going back. That's where I go up at right over there by that sign. Gotcha. I'll check with you in a little bit. When you get home. Look at these twins. Oh, don't film it. Oh, don't film it. All right. Here we go. Three caps, four caps, three batteries. I'm going to change that beach to not East Beach anymore. It's going to be Battery Beach. A temperature gauge sensor, I suspect. Screw, some little teeny stuff. And I got the sensitivity at 13 now. So, you know, I was hoping to eliminate some of this crap. But the Knox is just too sensitive. And 14K, 11 real ice, little ices hanging out of that. They ain't too little, they're pretty nice. You just never know. Now I'm tied for 2019. I used to find 60 and 70 gold rings this summer. Now I've been down to 19 in 2018. Three last year, and now I'm tied with last year. So I'm working on a plus now. If I ever find another one. I'll get back to you. But I know it's got to have a sister or a brother right there somewhere. God. Three point six grams. You just have to take it like that. Can't refuse it. Green light. That's a good sign. That's what we're after. Real icebergs. Okay. Push the button. Well, we're on spin number two now. We're going uh, west today instead of east like we went yesterday. This is a new, different neighborhood. The goddamn roses, they're sticky. Now we made it down to Buoy 44, AKA Chicks Beach. At one time, this was our best spot next to the cave. This was a 40s, 50s, 60s era beach. Gold and silver galore. And then came the replenishment. And it's so wide now, it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. I haven't been over here in two years. I'll show you some pictures of it, if I can think about it, what it used to be like when it was a gold hole. Where are you going, Jack? I see two dogs coming. You better come on. Come on. Come on. Jack doesn't mind dogs. It's the Indian who doesn't like them. Well, she likes them because the street belongs to her, you know, so that makes it not right when another dog is on there. Don't remember any of this, but this is a new home built right on the beach. But in the early 2000s, we had a fire that came through in a big windy day like this. And it burned down like five or six of these completely. There was one here. They're putting piles in, but the pile has been in for two years and they haven't gone any further. All three of these are new after the fire. 
this big orange is where it started it went went towards the uh buoy where we just left cleaned all of them out it was a hell of a fire looks like they get rid of finally build another one here i haven't been down here in two years so i don't know what to look like oh yeah they got the foundation in I don't know if there's two lots here or one lot. Quite enough to be two lots. Yeah, it is two. One right there. And one new one right there where they get ready to build a new house. You can see there's the old pilings. Yeah, I know it. There. Look at the people on the beach. Crowded today. Oops, another one. A fire must have started here then. Yeah, when it started right here, cleaned out six or seven of them in a row. It was terrible. And it's just a big Bay Bridge tunnel. Come on, Big O Jack. You got people behind you. The end of the line. Now, when Jack was young, and Long ago, we used to walk over this hill right here and walk down there and there's a lake. I went down there one day and a guy was catching the devil out of crappie. Cause I didn't know what a crappie was. I never done any freshwater fishing. So I asked him about it. I went to the tackle shop the next day and got me a bobber and some minnows and I came back and me and Jack, we caught a six crappie. We didn't keep them, we just caught them and let them go. But that's the first freshwater fish I ever caught. Jack wanted to eat them. They were fun to catch though. So.